All right, ladies, Miami. We're in the land of beaches and babes. This is true. Ooh, alliteration. Well, I wanted to welcome you. This is my friend's shop, Miami Tattoo Company, and it's one of the best shops here in Miami. It's incredible. I love how the girls are kicking ass. You kicked plenty of ass, so. Yes. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the shop is all yours, whatever you need. Thank and you. And I'll see you soon. Right. Bye. 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 Thank you. Listen, Miami has some really good tattooers, so these guys are going to bring the heat. It's Miami, what else could they bring? I'm High Noon, I've been tattooing for about 11 years. I'm mostly known for big, vibrant, colored tattoos. I've been awarded trophies for pretty much every category that I've ever entered. High Noon is the brightest time of day, baby. High Noon is in the building, oh, what's up? Oh, Welcome to my beach. This is my beach. <laughs> I'm the unofficial mayor of South Beach. I don't know if you guys heard. I mean, there's a lot of really heavy hitter tattooers in Miami. Yeah. So are you worried about who you're going to be up against today? I wouldn't be here if I wasn't ready to compete. I'm Jose Rosado. I've been tattooing here in Miami for the better part of nine years. I'm known for like black and gray realistic work, but I have quite an eclectic range of awards. I can do a little bit of everything. Tattooing is my life. Oh, here he is. Get out of here, man. This guy right here, this is the comp. Do you guys know each other? Hey, this is my old apprentice right here. You should be cutting my paper towels, man. Yeah, how does it feel that your apprentice is doing way better than you? <laughs> I've been finishing his tattoos now for a few years, so I have to oh, finish man. this one, too. Get out of here, man. I'm Mel Vespertine, and I've been tattooing for nine years. I specialize in sacred geometry, but I can do pretty much anything. Ooh. Here we go. And here we go, boys. I don't even know these assholes. I'm the guy that's going to be beating you later. Oh, really? Yeah. Sorry to bust <laughs> your sausage fist. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? I am from Puerto Rico originally. I came here 11 years ago and been tattooing for nine years. I'm pretty confident I can take these guys down. We're traveling the entire country finding the best artists, so you guys better bring your best. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This is how the competition is going to work. There's going to be two elimination tattoos, and one artist is going to be eliminated each round. Whoever wins the final round will move on to face off against one of us. All right. <laughs> if one of you guys can be one of us, then you're going to earn a spot on Ink Master Season 10. Yeah. <laughs> this is freaking huge. Not only do you get to make it there, but you're going into Ink Master as a seasoned competitor. I got no problem with that. <laughs> there are four main things that we're looking for. Your outline, shading, application, and we want to see some style. Show us a tattoo that we're going to remember. All right, for this first elimination tattoo, you're gonna have two hours to create an awesome tattoo. Any style, any subject. Yeah. Hell yeah. But there's a catch. In honor of Miami, you will be tattooing on the butt. Oh, hell yeah. 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 Hopefully you guys are all familiar with butts. <laughs> it's Miami, so we assume you are. Tattooing in the butt is like the worst area ever. It's like tattooing a deflated beach ball. Please do not crack under the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Your canvases are randomly assigned and completely open. So you guys go get set up, and I'll go get your canvases. Ladies first, go ahead. You can follow me, <laughs> yeah, like sure. usual. I'm still going to kick your Learn ass. Learn a tattoo first, buddy. You guys have two hours to complete a tattoo on the butt. And your time starts now. All right. Let's do this. Perfect. We're not pulling any punches when it comes to judging these tattoos, because that's not going to prepare anybody for what it's like on Ink Master. All right. I expect these artists to put tattoos on their canvases that belong on the ass. You can't just slap a random tattoo on that part of the body and hope that it looks good. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? Oh, yeah. Ooh. 
You mean he wouldn't want to put like a pretty flower on his butt? I tried to talk him into it, but he didn't want to. <laughs> it's a butt tattoo. It either has to be epic or it has to be fun. There ain't really no time for epic, so let's make it fun. My plan on this tattoo is take a traditional image and just render it much more realistic. When I have something to prove, everybody better get out of the way. That's getting serious. We've been through so much, you know, like we took on this crazy endeavor to open up the shop and four years later, we're still here, we're doing great. But I know it's not the right time for me to step out. We got you, Lee. Don't worry about anything. When it comes to the shop, it's him. I want to be the best in Miami. I want that title. Once I have it, then I'll battle anybody just to keep it. <laughs> You're gonna do so great. I'm so proud of you. Oh. Just try and relax. Like, the tenser you keep it, the more you... I know. Are you keeping it pretty much like black work? Black work and a little dash of color. I chose this tattoo because it shows a lot of pristine line work on a hard part of the body to tattoo. You work fast. No around. Go to Rican. The majority of my family is in Puerto Rico still. How you doing, girl? Got involved in a tattooing competition. Whoa. I'll fly over there and I'll meet you if you win. <laughs> It's really, really difficult just because a phone call away is not the same as having them in person. You always kick ass. Thank you, Dad. I'm here to show the world what I've been doing for the past nine years. Bye -bye. <laughs> They get a grenade, you know, on the ass. He's cute. But at the same time, it gives me enough freedom to do something, like, artistic. That's awesome. My tattoo is huge. It's a combination of black and gray and color. It lets me flex a little bit of muscle. How many butts have you tattooed? Oh, tons of butts. <laughs> I grew up in old Brooklyn. It was the projects. And my mom, she worked her ass off to get us out of there. What's next on the agenda? What, what are we doing? Another competition is coming up. You know, I have the opportunity to compete. Our journey led to Miami, where I was able to have more opportunities than I would have in New York at the time. I think it's going to be a good opportunity to go out there and just, like, you know, rep Miami. I think it's long overdue. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can say that. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything generic. I'm not known for that. I'm known for being crazy. Why did High Noon go so big? If he pulls that tattoo off in two hours, I'm either going to be shocked or it's not gonna be clean. I'm a little bummed yeah. with Mel because I think those lines are kind of overlapping where they're not supposed to. Jose is going to be the low man on the totem pole because it's definitely the simplest, like, safe. easiest, yeah. safest tattoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys only have 15 minutes left. Oh. Just try and relax. Try not to jump. I just feel extremely shaky. Every time I touch this guy, he moves. I'm running out of time. I cannot go home over an unfinished little double. I'm not feeling well at all. No? <laughs> Can you give me two minutes and yeah. we're done? Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Stop tattooing. That little dude's done. This was, like, way too close. But my tattoo's done. It looks so good, that thing might bite you. High Noon bit more than he could chew on this one. Perro que ladra no muerde, a dog that barks does not bite. I'm going to blow him out of the water. Do we even have to debate Jose's tattoo? The color is so saturated. It's so beautifully blended. He has a very obvious knowledge of light source and contrast. Yeah. He executed it perfectly. High Noon did the opposite. We told him, you have two hours. And of course he wasn't going to finish. And he didn't. In like the red of that bang, he didn't even go up to the lines on half of them. And the other ones, he went straight out of the lines. Yeah. And they weren't good lines to begin with. Even if it was unfinished, yeah. you got to give him some props for creativity. I feel like Mel's was just very boring. 
Yes, but she's got consideration for the part of the body and she can create a lovely design. But in those designs, you have to have really good line work. Some of the lines don't continue all the way. Some of them overlap other lines. There's not two pieces of that mandala on Mel's tattoo that are like right. each other. All she showed us was line work that was inconsistent and bad. But High Noon, all he showed us was line work that was inconsistent. Keep it off more than he could chew. I want to see what he can do with more time. I want to see what she can do if she's not tattooing a very difficult part of the body that would affect how you line something. Well, we have to figure this out because we got to let these guys know. You guys had the opportunity to come up with something completely original. Yeah. And this is what you guys like come out with. There's a difference between being original and a good original tattoo. Oh, yeah. So, like, yeah, your, your, big, Bro, your big birthmark is original, I'm, right? And you can say dude's, whatever you want, but it's I, a good tattoo. I am going to say whatever you I want. Me? That Yours tattoo is slow. How's everybody feeling? Feeling good. Oof. Feeling good? The four of us were extremely impressed with one of you. The winner of today's elimination tattoo is...